So what's up guys, Fabria and welcome to the Shades of Tech Studio Tour Early 2020 Edition. Please come in. So this is the YouTube studio where we've been making videos for more than a year now. You've probably seen in the new studio making over series and in some of the videos uploaded on the channel. In this video we'll show you the complete tour and some parts that you probably never seen. And at some point of this video I'll tell you how you can win the giveaway of $36 Amazon gift card. So be sure to stick around until the end of this video to know how you can win it. So as you can see, the studio is a big open space and there are mainly two areas that concern the channel, which are the desk part and the living room. Of course, all the product links of what I use will be in the description. So be sure to buy using those links to support the channel with Amazon Associate. So let's go. Okay, so guys, I want to start here from the living room where we have this giant 8K TV well mounted with the no gap support and as you can see it's pretty dope. Below the TV we have a design media center and on the other side we have a big couch and as you can see there there is the desk so from the desk I can see the TV and it's really useful while editing because I can preview my videos. Let's start from the media center and the TV from right to left. So this is a media center we designed. It's a snake in walnut wood and a white glossy part. We have the speakers of the own theater system and there you can see the subwoofer, some remotes and the Millennium Falcon in Lego, one of my favorites. You probably spotted in some of my videos. Some green fake plant that in YouTuber studio never miss. And then we have the remote of this AKTV. I really love its metal finish, really minimal. I really like it, but it's not magic remote, so you can't move it around. This is disappointing. Below that we have the one cable connect box of the Samsung AK TV. We'll talk in a second. And it's really nice and neat because there is only one cable that goes from it to the TV and all the other HDMI, optical, Ethernet cables go there. So you can see there is still one cable from the TV. I will hide it in the wall soon, but it's really neat and minimal. I love it. And on the one cable box we have the Google Home Mini in the coral color to match it. There's still an orange thing going on and I really love, I use it to turn on and off the TV, the lights and it's really useful. Then below we have my PS4 Pro, one terabyte edition that is connected to the one cable box and the home theater 10.2 we recently reviewed and it's really massive sound, really good quality and basically all the sound from the TV goes into the home theater and from the receiver to all the speakers around the living room. It's really loving this. And now let's talk about the TV itself. It's a 65 inch, as you can see, it's pretty massive. And this is the 8K from Samsung Q950R. And spoiler alert, it's not the only TV in this studio. And we made a dedicated video comparing this TV to the LG C9 4K OLED. And spoiler alert, this is not really the definitive and real AK. So I leave this video for reference if you want to know more. But definitely it's a good TV. The best thing of this TV is the wall mounting system. Because as you can see, we are using a no gap support that basically let you hang this TV as frame on the wall. There is basically two centimeter from the wall and the final effect is really minimal, no footprint and I'm really loving this wall mount design. Uh, we had the C9 wall mounted before, it was really close to the wall, really cool with the thin design, but this one is better, so I really hope that this is the definitive standard that all the TV manufacturer will use in the future for wall mounting TVs. Anyway, we'll cover deeply the AK TV topic, making some experiment with this TV and then PS5 and Xbox One Series 6 will come out with sweet AK60 gameplay so we're really interested to see how they will perform on this AK TV. Then going on we have all the other speakers, the central speakers and the left speakers of the sound system and as you can see there are many drawers 
and inside of them there are basically some remotes the ps4 pro controller some games some headphones for gaming some cable manager and not one but two lg remotes okay so on the other side of the living room we have this giant leather couch in beige color that matches the carpet and as you can see there are also some pillows in blue in teal and orange and beige which matches perfectly all the thing going on with the studio and i really love this couch because it's really comfortable there are some moving relax position and uh, i use it to enjoy watching 4k movies with uh, iktv with the on theater system or playing some games with my ps4 pro and uh, i really love it i built to give this home theater feeling and uh, i'm really being able to do that this whole home theater part is covered by a fake ceiling with some leds it's a square and in each corner there is a speaker so it gives a really an immersive sound experience from above as you can see it's really large you can fit basically three to four people and uh, it's really comfortable there is a relaxed position for your legs and i'm really loving it and to complete this setup there is this sword which is from the lord of the rings it's aragorn's sword and i'm really a fan of this movie so i wanted to hang it there and it's really massive and behind the couch as you can see there is the desk which is the part where i pass all my time editing videos and so let's jump right into it okay and this is the desk it's really hard to give you the correct angle but it's really a large desk you can fit probably three 32 inch monitors and right now i have my imac which is the main horsepower of this setup but i have a big announcement because this is probably the last time you'll see this setup in this way with this imac because i have just bought a mac pro and to tell you more about that i'll make another video so stay tuned on the channel but the main idea is to get a mac pro and then get rid of these two monitors and use a 38 or a 34 ultra wide inch in 21 by 9 aspect ratio which is perfect for editing in this way i'll clean the setup and make it more minimal just one screen symmetrical so as i told you imac late 2013 we recently made a video series upgrading the base model to the max dial configuration with a i7 processor 32 gig of ram and 3 terabyte of pure fast ssd so this is really powerful but the, of course the mac pro will be more powerful then we have connected a 27 inch lg 27 uk 850w from lg of course and it's 4k hdr monitor so now the 4k is the main display then we have some fake plants some thermometer and this one is really cool it was made by my wife and i really love them having in the background then we have here some leds leds behind leds on the sides and are all philips hue enabled light i can just turn it off and on with this ikea remote or if i prefer i can use the google home here on the desk we have a magic mouse gen 1 i'm probably considering to get an mx master gen 3 because it has all the buttons you can customize them and then i have an apple magic keyboard gen 1 which is really wonderful and i love the big travel of the keys but i'm probably considering to get a magic keyboard gen 2 with the numeric thread and of course in space gray to match the other trackpad in space gray to have an all low footprint desk and this is a leather mouse pad and i really love because this desk which we'll talk in a second it's really glossy and so i don't want to leave the footprint on it and i have this leather the latest thing i bought these are the airpods pro and they are wonderful i didn't think i would love them so much and they are expensive they have become my number one favorite editing headphone before i use the one you can see below the desk which is the beat solo hd gen 1 and they are wired headphones so i really prefer the airpods pro because just plug and play noise cancelling and you start edit you lose the concept of time and so i'm really loving them if you can save up money i really advise you to get of course it will make you a six month review probably and uh, i'm considering to make a collaboration with other youtubers so if you are one of them please 
leave a comment or post me on Twitter at Shades of Tech. So let's talk about the desk itself. It's really wide and deep desk. It's basically a dining table because I couldn't find such a big desk. And again, it matches the living room media center setup and it's from the same Italian brand. And we have basically a one centimeter glass glossy white design and I really love it. It's a little bit cold, uh, another reason why is this leather pad for my wrist, especially in winter. And then there is this gap and the wood, walnut wood legs. And I really love it and I think it matches perfectly the, the Apple feel of this desk. And when I love the Mac Pro it will be perfect. And then below we have an IKEA drawer where I store basically what is my wireless charging, an iPad Gen. 3, I believe, then my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, then we have a lot of wires all perfectly stored and then we have my 13 inch MacBook Pro and some SSD both NVMe and 2.5 inch and it helps me to keep everything organized and hidden. So as you can see this desk will probably change and I'm really looking forward to show you that I want to wall mount the ultra wide display to give that floating look with LEDs. In front of the desk basically there is the dining table that you have seen probably in most of my aerial shots. Okay so here is the dining table but I usually sit here to make all the aerial shots. In this way you'll see me, the camera is there and you'll see the desk in the background. So if you are subscribed to the channel you're probably familiar with this. And on the ceiling there is a really beautiful lighting system, the LED that matches perfectly the picture frames on the wall. And you have probably seen this table also in some B-roll shots. It's really beautiful design with this, it's called Shanghai, again from Reflexi, the same brand of the other furniture of the studio and it gives you this really nice look and also i love the fact that it's completely transparent glass so you can make some shots from above or from below and now let's move over there which is the last part of the open space okay so this is the kitchen but it's really big and this is basically where, where all the unboxing have take place because i can get my tripod with my overhead gear here and make it an unboxing and it's really useful because i can go around just like this and it's really comfortable. So now we'll go to the last part of the studio which is a little bit of behind the scenes. We'll go to the room where we have other two 4K OLED TVs that are in phase of testing. Okay, so now it's time to talk about what you're all waiting for, the gift card giveaway. So as you probably remember in the new studio series, I promised you a $36 Amazon gift card giveaway. So now I'm gonna tell you how you can win it. It's really easy. You basically have to be subscribed, of course, to this channel, to like this video and comment, because the winners will be selected in the comments of this video. So easy question, when this giveaway will end and we will announce the winner. The winners will be announced on social media of Shades of Tech, you'll find all the links in the description, so be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to know when the giveaway will end and to know the winner. And when the winner will be announced, basically as I told you there is a series going on with all the videos, so the series will finish when the whole total of views of this series will be 50,000. I know you probably think it's a lot, but we are already around 30,000. So basically, the more times you will see those videos, the faster the giveaway will finish and the higher the chance to win. It. So that's it. Of course, to participate, you need to be in the USA because the giveaway is in USA dollars and otherwise you probably don't know what to do with it. So that's it, easy peasy. Let's continue the studio tour. Okay, so before we end, I just want to show you this beautiful effect of this light strip in the, the ceiling and we created all this effect. And it's really long hallway and I'm really loving it, but you never see it in the videos. And this is the Google Nest, which is an of the eating system of the studio and it's really comfortable because you can control it from, of course, the knob and it's really satisfying to change the temperature and uh, 
you can control it with the Google on assistant you saw in the living room. So you can say, uh, okay, Google, I'm freezing, I'm cold, and you will change the temperature or just say, I'm going away and you will turn off the heating. Really comfortable. And you can, of course, control with the app. But I'm not considering to make a review. So I just want to show you that. And now the last but not the least, the review area, the review room. Okay, so this is the room. Again, really difficult to give you the proper dimension of the room because we don't have a wide lens, but it's large enough to store basically two 65 inch TVs. Here we made the comparison between the LG C9 Old 4K that you can see right here and the AK TV you have seen in the living room. And basically it's just a white room with a white background and it's really nice for video and photos. And so this is the box, but uh, you don't have to be full because inside this box we have another OLED from 2017, the LG C7, but 55 inch. Because right now we are shooting and reviewing the comparison between those 2019 and 2017, both LG OLED TVs. So be sure to subscribe if you are interested in this. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I really hope you liked the first studio tour of 2020 of the decade. And tell me what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like or dislike this video, comment and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!